Hey guys, what do you think? You like my shirt? Well, the reason I'm wearing this one today is because this is episode 666. Yeah, this is my 666th upload. So that's why I've decided to wear a Slayer shirt. And um, as you saw from the thumbnail, we're going to be talking about the New World Order, right? Well, anyways, we're going to be talking about all that stuff and more coming up next. Hey Lambo, what are you listening to there, brother? Let me check it out, let me check it out. Cause the beast! Yeah! Cause the name of the beast is six! Six, six, yeah! Oh shit, that's what I'm talking about. All right, all right, let me, let me let you continue listening to that while I get back to the show. Hell yeah, brother. Rock on, man. Rock on, guys. And welcome. Welcome back, guys. Today is episode 666. Yay! So since uh, that's the number of the episode, you're watching this on Friday, um, we're going to be talking about, you already guessed it, religion. No, <laughs> we're not, we're not going to be talking about religion. In fact, no, what, what we're going to be talking about is, uh, yeah, well, we said it. So, um... As you guys can see from this right here, okay, um, the New World Order, a long ass fucking time ago, said that a new world currency is right up, right up, right up our alley. And uh, when I was doing Wednesday's show, which is today, by the way, um, and we were talking about um, the Facebook uh, coin, you know, that Libra coin, and we were talking about all that stuff that was happening with that, I, just, I all of a sudden I realized, oh my goodness. There it is. So yeah, so this is why we're talking about this today because look guys, look, this is not gonna, we're not gonna be talking about, you know, dissecting the Facebook Libra coin. If you wanna watch that, watch my live stream from Wednesday. Um, we're not gonna be talking about the banking system in that sense, you know what I mean? We've, again, watch any other one of my episodes. We're, we're not gonna be talking even conspiracy theories here. In fact, what we're gonna be talking about is the fact that, you know, what this, you know, the whole, we just, we, we're, we're keeping the theme of 666, the devil, Satan, and all that stuff, okay? And what it all really, really means, okay? In the long, bigger picture scheme of things, okay? The fact is that right now, all of us, all of us, as you're watching this episode, as you're watching most of my channel, as you're watching other channels, as you're getting awake, you're waking up, Okay, and I'm not talking about woke, you know, left woke. I'm not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like really waking up, meaning, you know, picking up a fucking book, doing some reading, doing some actual research, you know, watching real videos, you know, um, you know, talking about this stuff. And not just watching one video, but watching many, many videos and just educated. Education, education, education on everything. And as all of us are getting educated, you know, we are going down the rabbit hole, as they like to say. And, um, as each day moves on, you know, meaning as, as we go further down the rabbit hole, we're all realizing that fuck everything that we've been told is a lie. And the more we look into everything, the more the lie becomes, you know what I mean, like even bigger and bigger. And as to the point where all of a sudden, like, we don't believe anything anymore that we're being told. And now we're in a constant, um, we're in a constant mission to finding out the truth, whatever that truth is. And so... You know, what we're going to be talking about right now, you know, when it comes to like the whole 666 thing is just the perception of what it really, what that really means. You know, every, as we're going down this rabbit hole, we're all realizing that, you know, every, like what we've been told is bad is actually good. And what we've been told is good is actually bad. What's blue is actually red. What's up is actually down. And holy shit. I mean, you know, some people go off the deep. deep some, some people are even going off the fucking flat earth edge. Boom, boom. Anyways, <laughs> the point is, is that, you know, what, what this episode is all about is, is that what you need to be doing, if you're not doing it already, is continually to question. And it's not, it's, I mean, I don't even got to tell you guys what to do. You guys already are doing it. It's more of uh, the collective whole of humanity is all waking up. Okay, we're all finally you know had enough with all this shit and slowly but surely we're all educating ourselves realizing what's going on realizing that we have the power and we're pushing back okay and that's all you know that's really going on and everything is being flipped on its back 
I mean, for reals. And uh, it's, it's an amazing time to be alive. And so, you know, why I'm talking about this right now is because you know, I, I listen to all kinds of content, like I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, you know. And, um, you know, one of the things that I love to listen to are podcasts. And so, since I'm always fucking knee deep, you know, or deeper into the shit, you know, meaning, you know, I, I'm literally a ground soldier, you know, doing all the research, you know, making these videos, you know, doing the whole fucking thing. And, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, when I'm hanging out with my girlfriend, for example, I tune out. I just tune the fuck out. Because it's so much that I just need to tune the fuck out because otherwise I'm going to drive her crazy and drive other people crazy and so on and so forth. Again, why I have this avenue, you know, so that I can, you know, uh, continue this process. But what's happening more and more, and more you know, one of, the, all, one of the things that I like to use or do, or do you know, in order to, um, to just kind of like tune out for a minute is I listen to comedy. I love comedy. I don't know if you guys have heard or noticed. I'm a fun. I'm 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 like a mushroom, guys. All right, I'm just I'm just a big giant mushroom. I'm a fun guy. Anyways, all right, yeah. <laughs> so I love listening to comedy. I'm a big comedy guy. When I was in LA, that was one of my favorite things about being in LA. There, there's comedy everywhere. Comedy clubs all over the place. I used to go to the comedy store and see Joe Rogan and you know and all those famous comedians all the time for like 20 bucks. Again, one of the major reasons why I loved LA so much, but. I digress. I love comedy, and um, so one of the things that I like to you know listen to besides Joe Rogan, you know, I listen to po comedy podcasts. But one thing that I've increasingly noticed is that I'm listening to just like a pure comedy podcast, and all of a sudden they're starting to talk about the Federal Reserve, or Bitcoin, or what's happening in France, or what's happening with politics, or whatever. So I listen to Sam Tripoli. You know, that guy is, you know, com comedian all day long, but, you know, he has a, 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 a podcast that's like literally all he does is talk about um, fucking conspiracy theories all day. And it's amazing. The people that he has as, as guests on there are awesome. You know, I'll listen to, you know, I'll, I'll, the, the one of the guys that I really like to listen to a lot is Chris D'Elia. You know, this guy is, okay, he doesn't really talk about conspiracies, there's only comedy on there. But all I'm saying is that I listen to a lot of freaking things, whether it's podcasts, you know, whether it's, um, you know, just regular stuff, you know, on, in the papers, in the street, on Instagram, on whatever, just regular, you know, not, I want to say mainstream media, but I, I really kind of stay away from that. But the, all I'm saying is that every day, as we go along, it's, it's, it's harder to avoid. A few years ago, we would all be considered, you know, crazy conspiracy theory guys, you know, with aluminum foil hats on our fucking head, and so on and so forth. But nowadays, that's not really the case. In fact, if you're not, if you don't know a lot of the stuff that we're all talking about now collectively, then you're the one that's out of the fucking loop. And sure, we already know that America and a lot of, a lot of uh, first world countries are really dumbed down, okay? And they would rather watch the Kardashians or, or listen to, you know, um, you know, little Yachty or, you know, Big Harry or little whatever the fuck. Anyways, the point is, and so, you know, they would rather just tune out like that. But again, as we're moving into, you know, as, as each day keeps moving forward, we're all realizing like, you know, less and less people are engaging with that kind of stuff and more and more people are engaging with this kind of stuff. And so, you know, as we're celebrating here, 666 video upload day, you know, all I really want to let you guys know is the fact that, you know, we, we got to really dissect everything and what we think is evil or 666 or whatever the hell is really not. And whatever, and, and what, what we think is like pure and good is probably evil. Because look, guys, again, I'm not here to talk about, you know, I, I'm not here to pick sides. I'm not here to anything. But, you know, right now, all of us are like falling into tribes more and more each day. And uh, what we really need to be doing is not picking a baseball team. You know what I mean? Not picking a team, but instead, you know, being on Team Human. We're all in this together. Okay, and not being on Team LGBT or Team, you know, um, Trump or Team Hillary Clinton or Team whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? No, bad. You know what I mean? We all need to be on Team Human, because right now, you know, again, you know, just, let's just talk about the Catholic Church. You know, because again, we're talking about six 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 and stuff like that, and they they tell you, you know, you know that you know what certain things are, you know, are good. 
but when you really look at what they do on a regular basis um, as, a, as a church as a Catholic church it's all evil you know whether it's them you know playing with little kids or whether it's them stealing money from the poor or, and all and everything and all that in between and yet we're told as a society hey that's good look into that as really good stuff and then when you actually do good things like I don't know feed the poor they fucking arrest you because that's evil so it's like you know what we need to start doing more of is thinking for ourselves again just like I was talking about yesterday and I implore you guys to do all the time here is think for yourselves and when you see when you know when there, when there's something just wrong then you have to speak up even if it hurts you got we always we, we got to stop being silent being silent is actually picking a side you're allowing the horribleness to happen so let's just go into the police you know right now you know, right now there's a huge situation happening with the popo in the U.S. of A. And people are like, oh, but the police have a hard job and there's good cops out there and shit like that. It's like, well, no, there's not. You know what I mean? Because everyone is implicit. It's like if, if you out there are watching some other guy rape a girl and you just stand there and, and, and don't do anything about it. Listen, you're just as fucking bad as the guy raping, okay? Because you could have done something and you choose not to fucking do it. So it's the same thing with the whole police thing. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are like, oh, but I, I, you know, like they can't speak up because they'll lose their job. Then lose your fucking job. You know what I mean? Like, are you fucking kidding me? You know, like, like Gary V says all the time, it's not about how, it's not about, it's not about how much money you make. It's how you make that money. Okay? Are you able to fucking sleep at night? Maybe that's why everyone's so fucked up on drugs and shit but anyways I, I digress the point is is standing up for what is truly right okay and there's we don't need laws and government to tell us what the fuck is right we know what the fuck is right and wrong most of us do all right and if you don't you should go see a fucking therapist all right but the reality is that most of us already know and um, you know you know, we, we come from a free country and we, we talk about freedom and liberty all the time. So if all of a sudden you want to believe one thing, well, go ahead and, and build a community of people over there in that corner. And if you want to believe another thing, well, you can build a community over there. No one's bothering each other. But what's happening now is that everyone is being forced to f adhere to all these things that a lot of times people don't want to adhere to and causing conflict. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, look, I don't give a fuck about gay people. You know what I mean? But if all of a sudden, you know, everyone in my neighborhood is super gay and they're forcing me to be gay, I'm going to have a fucking problem with that. I don't, I'm not gay. I like, I like the, the pussy, you know, I like the women, you know, what, what I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, you know? So, and, and then that's, that's kind of like the whole mentality and, and vice versa. You know what I mean? Just like, you know, um, if you're the one gay person and everyone here is straight and everyone is forcing you to be straight. So that's the thing, you know, so that, that gay person has the ability or option to move to San Francisco and vice versa. If you're in, in the San Francisco and you don't like it, you can move to fucking, you know, whatever, Texas, I don't know, or Wisconsin or whatever the fuck, you know. What I'm saying. So, so I'm not, I'm not trying to pick on anyone. But anyways, the point is that, you know, again, we have to keep our minds open and realize that you know not only do we can we not believe anything anymore you can't even believe me or lambo you know you, you can only believe yourself and so how can you believe yourself well again when you do your own homework when you follow your own values when you follow your own thoughts and and you actually you know have a, a working brain then you know all of a sudden now you can actually you know make real decisions as opposed to what's happening now where most people are are on autopilot Sorry, truck. Anyways, most people are on autopilot and they're, you know, they would rather have a government entity or a church or a, a, a group, you know, team A, team B, you know, whatever, um, tell them what to do as opposed to having them think for themselves. And a lot of people out there that love to tell people what to do are taking full advantage of that and they're being the leaders of all these wolf packs all over the place. And, uh, you know, we're not careful. You already know there could be a fucking civil war right around the corner or something insanely, you know, just as bad right around the corner. Which again, if you know anything, you know, the real elites, the real people in power, the real 666, that's, they would love that. They would be like, oh, hell yeah. Fucking free for all. They put that shit on pay-per-view, you know. Anyways, for themselves. Anyways, guys. So 
you know, just to sum everything all up and coming full circle on today's episode, you know, I just really, for reals, guys, you know, stop believing the hype and start thinking for yourselves. And uh, and I think most of you guys are doing it, but you really got to double down, triple down, quadruple down, because, you know, if we don't do that, if we're not thinking for ourselves, then we are literally becoming the machines that people like Elon Musk say we're gonna become. We are we're already half machine because we have our cell phone and our electronics and you guys are watching me and everything that we do. We're already part cyborg. But if you guys are really looking just a little deeper, we're really, a lot of us are already fucking robots. This is why I live the life I wanna live. I mean, I'm doing all the things I'm doing. I'm trying to like be as human as possible and be as anti, you know, robot lifestyle as, as I can. A lot of you guys are stuck in that robotic lifestyle of just doing the same thing over and over again. And yeah, sure, we humans love routine, but not to the point where we are machines ourselves. And we have no freedom as to, you know, the things that we're doing. You know, we're just fucking slaves, you know? And, uh, you know, again, you guys already know, I talk about this shit all the time. I'm going to end this episode here because I got a lot more things to do. A lot more life things to do. I got a lot more things I got to create because I'm a human and I'm not a robot, machine, whatever. Not yet, anyway. I was a machine when I used to be a chef and when I used to do other things. That's for sure. In fact, I used to always call myself and consider myself a fucking machine. A Terminator. A re like a machine. Like, I mean, again, you know? And I used to be proud of that. Now, I'm proud of the fact that I'm not that at all. That I'm, I'm human. That I'm an artist. That I have free will. That I have the, the freedom that I could turn this off and never make another video ever again. Or the freedom that I'm gonna keep making videos until I can't speak anymore. And so on and so forth. Free will. That is the one thing that is, is, at, is at play here more than anything else. Remember, everything that you do, literally, all of you guys, is that you're trading the most valuable commodity on planet Earth, which is your time. Your time. Remember, you have an in, like a small amount of time on Earth, an infinite, like a non-infinite, a, 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 a very finite amount of time here on Earth. And because of how society works today, you are being sold the idea that you have to trade that time for this stuff called money so you can buy this stuff called stuff that absolutely serves no purpose but make you even more sad and depressed okay i was watching a video of one of the travel guys that i watch all the fucking time um travel vlogger guys and he was in el salvador and as, as he was in el salvador you know he's just you know talking to a a local, you know, having a large, con a, a long conversation with them about a bunch of things and talking about America and moving to America and living in, you know, the whole American dream thing. And she was just talking about the fact that, yeah, I got friends and family that go out there, you know, just going through the whole thing. We've, I've talked about this many times on this channel, talking about my own conversations with people out here and that whole thing. And the thing is that, the reality is, is that, that I mean, you know, just to Come, for, come to the end of that conversation. You know, when that what that girl was saying is that like the reason that she doesn't want to move to the U.S. is because, you know, if you go to the U.S., all you're doing is that you're a fucking slave, you're a fucking robot, you're just, again, er, working to earn money to pay for things that you don't even want. Well, if she remains in El Salvador, sure, things aren't great right now, but fuck, she gets to live life. She gets to really enjoy life, okay? quality of life okay she has to trade less of her time for less of this money in order to just live her life and that to her was more important like it is to me like it is to a lot of you guys and like it is to pretty much everywhere around the world where you see people living the way they do out here and so on and so forth so on today's you know happy 666 <laughs> Sorry. On today, so, so anyway, to sum everything all up, to, you know, just to, you know, come full circle and celebrate 666 day, you know, 666 video upload day, I just want to tell you guys and remind you guys, okay, that everything is not what it seems and that you have the power to educate yourselves to really find out exactly what the fuck is going on. And you guys are already doing a major part of that by not just watching my channel, by watching other channels and so on and so forth, all right? So... Keep that spirit alive. Keep bugging the hell out of everybody. Keep, you know, 
sharing not just this video these videos but this knowledge and so on and so forth but just keep it going keep it going keep it going keep it going the snowball is growing this has happened more than once in human history and um yeah you already guessed it it's revolution time all right this is where i would uh you know where uh i mean we'll play some rage against the machine type of shit by the way i wish i had a rage against the machine shirt you know like i used to but i lost it to uh a friend. I'll leave it there. <laughs> wah, wah. All right, guys. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to every contributor out there. You guys know exactly who you are. I fucking love you guys. Every single one of you guys. Thank you to every single one of you guys that leaves comments, leaves the thumbs ups, interacts with, with me and, and, and Lambo and the whole situation here. You know, all of you guys, if you want to, you know, talk to me more, if you want to interact with me more, please go to my website. Link is at the bottom, joseartega.com. I just built it. Awesome stuff there. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. F join the Discord where I have a, the whole community up and running, talking about all kinds of things and so on and so forth. I'm everywhere. I'm like a disease. I'm spreading. What am I, all I can say is work on. Guys, thank you so much. I love you. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, and please stay awesome, and please have an amazing Friday, an amazing rest of your weekend, and uh, I hope you enjoy the videos coming up tomorrow and so on and so forth, because you already know it, daily uploads. I know I was, I was gone for a couple days, but that's it. That's it, all right? We're back to daily uploads. Sorry. Peace out. Love you guys, and I'll see you guys manana. Laters.